Welcome everyone to Off the Cuff. I am Adam Banks. Thank you for listening to the show. It's episode 84. We are moving right up to episode 100. It's crazy that we are moving this far ahead. Nelly is in studio with me. Nelly, how are you? Well, I've been a little bit better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's trying to avoid the coughing because we both have allergies. My eyes are bloodshot. Yeah. I'm getting kind of nervous. Mine are just dry and hurt, like itchy. Mine are itchy too, but yeah. see, you say yours are red and yours aren't. Like I'm looking at them right now, and they're not red. Mine are. It looks like that I've been punched in the. It looks like I've been punched in the face. Oh, it does not. It looks like I've thrown up or something and busted your butt vessels. Yeah, but I haven't done that. No, but that's what allergies do. Does it really? Yeah. So I have nothing to worry about. No, I told you I read all about it. Okay, but you mentioned glaucoma earlier. Was that like worst case scenario? Out of older people get glaucoma normally. Oh, okay. 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 So, okay. So, but it's normally an old person. Should I go to the disease. doctor and get checked? If it's bothering you that much, I would. Because you, if you don't, you're going to drive me crazy. Well, Nelly, so much has been <laughs> happening around the world. As you know, this world is a crazy, crazy place. Have you heard about the Louisville Cardinal scandal that's been going on? Who hasn't? Yes. Isn't that crazy? If you watch TV, you've heard about it. Well, it's all allegations. Do you think it's true? Man, all I got to say is now they're, they're, they're start. You know, they're saying that he Rick was involved too, but they know. And if that man was that stupid to, to get himself involved in something like that twice. They need to let him go. They need to let him go. He is the only coach. That is awful. He is the only coach in America that can keep his job after everything he's done. Back in 2010, he had an affair with Karen Seifer. That's what that. I'm talking about. And look what happened at the resort of that. Yeah. She went to prison and he went yeah. home and coached yeah. his team. Nothing and, happened. Right. And But she tried to blackmail him. She extorted him, him yeah. right. Yeah, she deserved to go to prison. So, but but he she, kept his job. No coach his in America. His family. I felt so bad for his family. No coach in America would have kept their job. First, if Mitch Barnhart, the UK athletic director, found if if something like that happened under his watch, you'd be gone in a second. How long did Gillespie last? Two years. I'm surprised he lasted that long. Right, Joker. That was awful. Joker that was so embarrassing. Yeah, Joker Phillips. He lasted. He wasn't like a bad character. Like he had morals and was a good uh, ambassador for the state. But he was. He was just. I could, do want to say win. this. Is all that stuff about that guy that was such a horrible coach? What was his name? Rick Pitino. No, Who? the UK coach. Oh, Billy Gillespie. Yes. Yeah. He. I mean, what what little bit of fifteen minutes he got? That's all he got. That's all he got. Cause it don't fall. It hasn't followed us. He no. You know what I mean? No, it changed overnight when Cal got here. Oh, little Jess. It changed overnight. Like UK, like when you used to look at like the UK emblem or the UK symbol, you didn't think of as as much of it as you do now. That was an embarrassment for everyone. For the program for two years, like he would party with girl college girls, what? go go to the bar, dance on the bar. If you wanted to go out and hang out with Billy Gillespie, all you had to do is go to your local bar not me seriously though like he had an affair with all kinds of people i don't even want to mention it though because I, yeah, I don't even want to go there but he had an affair i know people he had like relations with Ooh. yeah he was he was i just thought he was so ugly but yeah disgusting. so disgusting but back to that louisville scandal the, what's going on with it apparently if oh, the God. just to tell the audience of what's going on like a little rundown nelly just a little rundown of what's going on um Back in 2009, 10, around that time, back when Cal first got to Kentucky, this is Louisville got desperate, well, I guess. when did he have an affair with that woman? This was 2019. So he Same time. Yeah, something's happened. Well, then evidently. Something's happened uh-huh. to Patino. Like, he, he went nuts or something in 2009 and 10. Because when Cal got to Kentucky, he must have went nuts. But anyway, the story is, back then, the director of basketball operations at Louisville Hired an escort to to go out with the recruits and the new incoming players at, at Louisville, mostly recruits, people who would come visit them, and take them out, sleep with them, party, party with, with them. them. Oh, my gosh. And she did that. But what this woman did was she she saved every text message, 
every email. She knew what she, she was took doing. Pictures for, she's been doing this for five years, <gasps> and in five years, she wrote a book and published all of that in her book. Oh, Found a Nobel Prize winner author to help her co-write the book to make it like an intelligent book, and she released it last Friday at 4.30. Oh my God! Yeah, and then it just broke. Patino went up there and said, "I'm I'm heartbroken about what's going on here at this program." And one of the quotes in the book was from a player, one of the madam, the madam who did this, the escort. She says, "Does Coach Patino know about this?" And he smiled and said, "Coach Patino knows about everything." No, it says, uh, "It said, didn't it say Rick knows?" Rick, Rick knows a, yeah. about all. Rick knows knows a, all. Knows or all. Like yes. That. So. I mean, it right there, crazy. it is. It's a crazy scandal. Do you actually think he will survive this if it's true? If it's I true, I think it's true. I it's do go- too. But I think, I, I think they're they're just gonna. Well, he's gonna be suspended or something. Yeah, I mean, he's gonna have to. I mean, he's gonna have to be suspended. And uh, <laughs> it, it, this is, it, it's it's a situation that's just nuts going right. on in Louisville, but. That is happening. Uh, Nellie, i got to tell you, here recently I went to a concert, Luke Bryan, country singer. Mm-hmm. Do you like Luke Bryan? And well. He's okay, right? Yeah. Yeah, he's really not that great live, but I went to a concert, had a great time. Traffic was nuts. It was on a two-lane road, and there was 20,000 people there. Imagine that many people trying to get to one place. Uh, I'm getting too old for that. Right. I used to go and do it, be right up in the middle of it. Right. But uh, not anymore. Right, I, I know. Like, it's uh, it, it was crazy. But guess who I saw at the at the game? Who there was twenty thousand people in there, and guess he was one of the people that I saw. I know, but who was uh, it? It was, Patrick, um, to- it was Patrick Toes, the quarterback for UK football. And I asked, told him about the show. Yeah. And uh, all my friends were around me, and they were building the show up. They're huge fans of the show. Yes. I mean, they're fans of the show. Zach and Jordan. Yes. And they, oh, yeah. So they're like, yeah, like he's had Brad Calipari on the show. I mean, he's just been up. And Patrick was very interested. And he was like, and I was like, yeah, man. I was like, just come on there and have a good time. I was like, that's what we like to do is just have fun and feel laid back. We won't even talk about football all that much. We'll just get to know you. He said, man, that's what I'm all about. And he shook my hand. And he said, get a hold of, he didn't give me the name, uh, t- the Tony, I, I can't think of his name. Uh, but, yeah, he's, he's at UK. And says, get a hold of him. He's the one that takes care of all media relations for UK so he can he's they gotta go through him before right, we can get players. Right, right. Notice that we've never gotten a player to come on the show. Right. They they can't. They have to get approval. Right. So that's who I gotta go through. So I mean it's a long shot. I doubt it. I doubt it because you know this is well, this, now this, he might be true pretty true to his word. I mean this is the podcast. I mean, don't you think they have some kind of input into it? I mean I don't know because this is the same podcast that talked about the five wacky ways. The same. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is uh, a yeah, very interesting is. podcast. You know, Nelly, we've been doing this for exactly one year and six months. Almost two years, over a year Lord. and a half. Lord. March 1st, 2014 is when we started this. We've had a lot go on. A lot has went that, on. Yeah. A lot can happen in a year. A whole lot. A lot. I mean, from the time we started a this. A lot could happen in a matter of days. Uh, oh, absolutely. Like, you've had a lot going on. Um, you know, so your stories are just crazy. You know, if any, if you ever wrote a book, well, you know, would they believe it? I don't know. They say that's that's fiction. There's no way that that's true. You that ain't. So. It's not a true story. You don't think so? Well, you just think, Adam. Just this this year, from August till now. And August is when Kim died. August second. Right. From that point on, well, when she got sick, that yeah. two weeks. From that point on, it's just been one thing after another. It really has for you because you know you had the situation with her dying, her uh-huh. you know the the situation the, with taking with her daughter foster and kid, right? Her daughter. It was awful. And, it was just sad. Yeah. It wasn't awful. It was sad. Yeah. So much. And, then, and I mean, I was honored to do what I possibly could. So. Right. Right. And you know, you did all you could do. You did I think all. so. Yeah. I, I hope mean, so. and now you just caught a whole nother piece of meat to chew on right now. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, uh, but yeah, a lot's been going on in my life too, you know. I'm still in a relationship. Uh-huh. It's um, <laughs> interesting. Interesting. But it's good. We have a good relationship. 
What do you think of her? Oh, I could just pinch her little cheeks. Yeah, she's... I love her. Yeah, she is real itty-bitty. You should see her drive her little car she bought. She looks so cute in her little head just barely sticks up, don't it? It does. There's got to be a way to lift that seat a little yeah, bit. Yeah, we need to lift that seat up, honey. <laughs> Do it just a little bit for her. Just a little bit. Let me lift that seat up just pump it up. <laughs> Let me get that seat up. But Nelly, uh, so... If she can't see the road. She can't. No, she really can. She's so cute. Well... Miss Haley. Uh, unfortunate news going on around the world is the community college shooting oh. that happened. Where was that at? Was that in? What was the name of that college? That's what I'm trying to think of. All I can see is the faces of those people. Yeah. It, it's just broken my heart. That was very sad. That was very sad. That was one, it of, was those horrible. Si- one of those situations that it's uh, it, it really struck home with me because I work for the community college system. You know what I'm saying? Well, I always worked. I worked with kids for years. I have an escape plan. If a gunman ever come to the community college, I'm I'm just getting the hell out of there. <laughs> I ain't following no drill. <laughs> I'm just opening my. Adam, you gotta help other people. I'm opening my window and, and I'm diving going, out. I'm just diving out and I'm gonna run, <laughs> run, force run. I'm going. <laughs> I'm How you like me now? You, know you like me now? <laughs> Let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. I have to announce uh, we have a now a new celebrity. Oh God! And he's been on off the cuff before. <laughs> he's been on off the cuff before. <coughs> Hosted a few episodes. Mr. Sam Whitehead was on the Price Is Right this morning at 11 a.m. with Drew Carey and Nelly. He won a car. I know it was so funny. It's so exciting because. A.K.A. just Whitehead. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's, it's hilarious. He's so funny. And, uh, and he was such a gentleman on there. But he did at the end. He says, how do you like me now? <laughs> then he goes, how do you like me now? <laughs> when he won that car, you know, and it was so funny because, like, I bet those producers just had a kick. That model was cracking up at him. I know it. And I love she, those little v, v, uh, VWs with the... Yeah, beautiful car, oh, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. He's going, uh, yeah, the new body style's cool. They gave him a license plate. <coughs> Yeah, I know. And, and it said, just a and, it. and the license plate says, <coughs> I won this car on the Prices Ride. I was a winner or something like I that. I won this car on the Prices yeah. Ride as well. And it's got Prices Ride on it. That's pretty crazy, though. I can't believe that. So, if you guys haven't had a chance to watch it. He was the first person they called down. That was cool, too. He was the first person they called down. And I'm going to have him on the show to talk about his uh, Oh, appearance. he will tell you and you will laugh, people. Yes, because he, he is one of the best people I know that is talented enough to tell a story and not get bored by listening to it ever. He'll come in here and he'll tell about his prices right experience and it will be the most entertaining five minutes, six minutes, however long it takes him to tell it that you'll hear. Cause like he, it's whitehead you burst like thinking. <laughs> yeah, sometimes he can ramble though, but it's not a boring You can't get carried away. Absolutely. We'll have to have But we love him. We do. But, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for listening to the show. Nelly, it's always a pleasure to have you back. You know, I, Thanks, Adam. I, I, I always, just hope I feel better the next time. Yeah, I always get really frustrated when you're not on the show. Like, I, I get so frustrated that I just want to take a radio and just throw it through your window <laughs> and say, come on and be on the radio. But ladies and gentlemen! Have you been to my house, Adam? It wouldn't be smart. I'd come out that door with that lead pipe. You ain't got no lead pipe, Miss Scarlet. Oh, yes, Mr. Scarlet, I do. No, I'm Colonel Mustard. What, whatever. No, I'm Professor Plum. <laughs> You're a plum, all right. <laughs> a plum, what's that? You. Oh, really? Yeah. I played Clue the other night with my buddies. I know you did. It was a good time. I'm we, glad. Yeah, we had a good time. I can't ever get you to do nothing with me. You never want to come up and visit. Never want to come up and visit me. Anymore. What's it got to do with us doing anything? Let's do something. Do you, that long ago, you don't want to play cards. You don't want to do nothing. We'll talk about this. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you later. But the night was warm.